This tutorial demonstrates how to access and use the employee calendar to record time taken for annual leave and unpaid leave, etc. Firstly, to access an employee's calendar, click on the Employees tab. Choose the employee's name from the list on the left of the screen and select Calendar. Days marked in black represent the employee's typical working days and days marked in grey represent non-working days. To select one day, simply click on the desired date on the calendar. To select a series of days, click and drag to highlight the days required. As soon as dates are selected on the employee's calendar, select the type of leave from the list of options. For example, if the employee is taking three days annual leave, highlight the days on the calendar and click on Holiday. If an incorrect entry is made on the calendar, simply highlight the day or days in question and click on the leave option originally selected. To add a note to the employee's calendar, firstly highlight the date on which you would like to add a note. Please note that days in past pay periods are locked and cannot be accessed. Enter the note on the right hand side. A date that is underlined denotes that a note has been added for that day. To view a note again, simply click on the relevant date to display the narrative on the right. For employees who are paid a daily rate, certain entries made on their calendar are automatically linked to the payroll function, namely unpaid leave and absent days. For example, an employee who is paid a daily rate takes three days unpaid leave, which is entered on his calendar. The employee typically works five days per week. In the pay period in which the unpaid leave falls, the employee's pay slip will automatically reflect the number of working days only in determining his pay. Should you wish to override or turn off this automatic facility at any time, simply click the edit button within the employee's pay slip and untick the box.